Detroit's Polish-American community is losing another piece of its identity as the church many called home for more than half a century prepares to close. Members, some as old as the original parish, tell 7 Action News reporter Mike Wolfolk it's difficult to say goodbye. Here on Detroit's northeast side, there is sadness as parishioners, many of them with roots in this once thriving Polish American community, gather one last time for Mass here at St. Louis the King Catholic Church. Hundreds of worshipers fill the pews as the pastor and several other priests make their way toward the altar. It is the last time this will happen here. It's very sad. Teresa Staniszewski expresses what many here feel. She has many personal milestones and memories tied to St. Louis the King. I was baptized in this church. We were married in this church. My son was baptized. Uh, most of my life has been here. St. Louis the King was established as a parish in 1923, the same year Helen Straczynski was born. Being here for the last mass is painful. It's like what well, one of the family going. It's unbelievable, but it's I guess it just has to be. Several years ago, dwindling numbers forced St. Louis the King to combine with the nearby Transfiguration Our Lady Help of Christians and St. Ladislaw churches to form what is now St. John Paul II Parish. But all three worship sites remained open. Most of these churches, if you go into, you see very small congregations. And the contributions between we merge with the other three churches is very low, so you can't maintain everything. As a result, the Archdiocese is closing two of the sites. Some members here believe if attendance on most Sundays had been as high as it was on this final Sunday, things might be very different. And it's hard to have to say goodbye to because there are a lot of people involved in this parish, but not as many as that should have been before. It'd been nice to have all these people here all the time. This building opened back in 1959, and while no more masses will take place here, people will still be able to come by and pray or just reminisce while preparations for the physical closing of the building are completed. In the meantime, St. Ladislaw will also close soon, though there is no date for that yet, and it will leave Transfiguration Our Lady Help of Christians as St. John Paul II Parishes only worship site. Here on the northeast side of Detroit, Mike Wolfolk, 7 Action News. Mike, thank